All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up Windows Media Player making a CD. We'll go ahead and put a CD in my drive. Now what I've done is put in a blank CD, so generally some of you guys' computers are going to automatically sense the blank disk and it's going to come up with a menu. See here, burn an audio CD with Windows Media Player. Or this just has some other options because I have a program called Image Burn. Uh, this burn files to disk isn't burning music, that's just dropping files directly. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just open up Windows Media Player myself. And I'm going to go ahead and find our music, so I'll just browse our library by artist. Now since we're burning a CD, we already have a blank, we're going to hit burn. And you notice this column that appears on the right over here. This is where we're going to just drag and drop our music. So let's go ahead and make a Creed CD. So we'll just grab all these songs. That is how I just hold my mouse button down here, go up. Now they're all highlighted, I'm just going to drag and drop them right down here. Now let's see, see here has 30 minutes, 19 remaining. Hey, these songs aren't that big. Looks like I can put some more music out there. So I'm going to go back to my library. That's the same way you would mix songs. You can just pick, you know, whatever you like. So let's see, we'll throw some Hinder out there. So we'll double click on Hinder. Let's see, this is a pretty good song. We'll throw that one at the end. Home and Coming Clean ain't bad. We'll throw that one on the end. What do we got? Oh, still got 21 minutes remaining. So we go to Artist. See what kind of music we got out here. Just kind of got whatever's whatever. Okay, the posies. Eh, you know, maybe I don't even like that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Start Burn. So I start the burn. Now it changes pages. <coughs> Notice here where it says Writing to Disk. This is going to write every single song one at a time. Now, if you come across uh, the term Normalizing, that means it puts every single song at the same uh, song level. Especially you folks with some really major car sales. Um, you know, that could really be a, be a big hand because you don't want to be blowing away your stereo with one song and you can't do the next one. Anyway, if I do a right mouse on this one, it's going to show me that I can rate it. See, one star and all that. What it really does with rating is like when you want to sort the songs by what you've rated as a really good song. Okay? Anyway, see there? We're going to just complete. At the very end, what it's going to do down here in the bottom is going to say completing disk. That means you can't burn any more songs to it. Now, not all CD players will burn CDs, and not all CD players will read burnt CDs. You see what I'm saying? You can make your own CDs, but now if you put them in the car stereo, be careful with uh, adhesive labels, like you know, the CD labels where you take the paper label and put it on top of the CD, because our shirt gets in hot and that can actually come back inside the right. So, alright. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some video magic and accelerate the video here and meet you at the end of the disc. So as you can see, we're towards the end now. We're going to be writing our last song here in just a second. Now those of you with some faster CD-ROMs, maybe the newer laptops, the newer computers, they might be running what's called serial ATA, so you're going to be running CDs like this. This one here is just a Dell and Spirion, an older laptop, so this one takes a little longer than the comparison. Now pay attention to what it does here at the end of the disc. That's what you put. Most of the time, the computer will reject the CD. Okay, we burned 100%. See so there, it's just finalizing the disc. There are home from the the last song. That's what it's actually going to be writing to the end of the CD. Okay, and we are done. Now, see how here where it says complete? Now, if you take your regular CDs, say you're on RIP for example, and you pop a CD into the drive, 
what it's going to do is actually read your CD, and then when you hit the button, it will physically take those songs, convert them into Windows Media Audio, um, some programs like, say, iTunes, will turn them into MP3. See here? So now it's seen all of our songs, and actually it wants to actually rip the music and go and stop it, because obviously I would have these songs on my computer. All right. And so that's how you burn a CD using the video. Thank you.